All right, guys, we're going to go in here and uh, check out. We already got our Tawny Emperor, but I'm going to try not to get stung by wasps because there's some, there's actually a, a number of wasps in here, which I don't, I don't like. I don't like when there's big wasps in my traps. It's not fun. Okay. One cool thing, guys, we have up here a big-eyed eastern eastern big-eyed click beetle and that's a cool bug and, and the ones around here have these massive uh eye spots on their thorax let me see if i can grab this dude it looks like it's the only other interesting insect in the trap all right guys we're going to show you why they call it a click beetle all right so there's the big eyes there Big boy. That's a big boy, absolutely. So they have this these little these little spikes here on the back of their thorax on the sides. And what they do is they put these little spikes underneath their elytra, which is the actual actually the forewing, which is a hard forewing. And they and they jam their head down real quick and it makes a clicking noise. And the idea is that that noise and vibration is supposed to scare a predator that's trying to eat it and get it to drop. They can also flip themselves. Yeah, they can flip themselves over. So that's pretty cool. So guys, I'm gonna show you uh, show and tell on the big eyed Eastern click beetle here in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're home now and I wanna show you a little bit more of Elias oculatus, the Eastern big eyed click beetle. And this is a really, really, really cool bug. And I want to just share a little bit about it with you. They live in deciduous forests in Mexico and the United States. And I think they live in the Caribbean as well. And the adults eat plant nectar and juices, but the caterpillars of this beetle are actually carnivorous and they will actually eat grubs and wood boring beetles. And so, as you can tell, they have those big eye spots on their thorax, which are there to uh, discourage predators from eating them. They make, make predators seem like, uh, like this is something a little bit more threatening than it is, but they have no ability to, to, to chomp or chew or bite or anything like that. Uh, it looks kind of like a cockroach, but it's not. It's just a really cool beetle. Um, they love eating fruit. Just wanted to give you guys a, a little glimpse of it making its little click beetle noise. Anyway, they like fruit. So I gave him some apple. So let's see if he eats the apple. He should go right to it, I would think. Let's see what happens. He's gonna crawl off. Yeah, anyway. He didn't eat the apple. Let's try again. What happens when you click? Try again. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, let's tickle him with the leaf here. Let's see what happens. Is that thing alive? It is very alive. Okay. Well, that's how the click beetle gets its name. Uh, very cool bug. Thank you.